How are you doing? Um, overseas investors set up aggressive speculative short selling to the Japanese government bond in preparation for large scale monetary easing policy by the Bank of Japan. And the Bank of Japan intervened and is buying the Japanese government bond desperately. So the battle between overseas investors and the Bank of Japan is being heated up now. So the government bond futures trading was suspended temporarily before monetary policy decision meeting. The price of the government bond futures dropped down by more than 2 yen uh, compared to the price yesterday. The, this range of reduction has been for the first time in almost 10 years since 2013. The, J the Japan Exchange Group suspended the trade of the government bond futures temporarily. And the Bank of Japan induced uh, distribution yields of current 10-year government bond futures that can be an indicator of long-term interest rate to become about 0% and a last fluctuation was in 0.25%. And during acceleration of inflation around the world, the central banks in Western countries turned into increase in interest rates. So overseas investors put high pressure on the Japanese government bond from the perspective that the Bank of Japan will be forced to modify the monetary easing policy in the early future. So on 13th June, the upper limit of long-term interest rate that the Bank of Japan allows exceeded and it raised up to 0.255%. The price of the, bank, bank, uh, price of the government bond dropped down and confronted with this situation, the Bank of Japan took a measure to take fixed rate purchase operations uh, continuously that enable the Bank of Japan to buy the government bonds at specific yield rates. So the Bank of Japan is now being desperate for holding down the interest rate. The Bank of Japan takes a firm stance to keep enforcing a large scale monetary easing policy persistently. However, um, if the Bank of Japan that maintains monetary easing policy rushes to increase the interest rate that will make the interest gap expand between the Japan and other countries. And this will be this will become a significant factor of yen depreciation. So currently people's attention is attracted by the market situation where Bank of Japan is likely to modify the monetary easing policy due to the calls that it may be uh, beaten by the overseas investors that sell government bonds aggressively. So this, the the big problem here is that so many overseas investors concentrate on aggressive selling to the Japanese government bond because they don't have a risk to set up short selling to the Japanese government bond. So if there is a case that overseas investors are beaten by the Bank of Japan, it is like the case, like if they set up the short selling to the Japanese government, even if they set up the uh, aggressive selling to the Japanese government bond, the price of the Japanese government bond doesn't drop down and the price of the, and the, and its price appreciates strongly in contrast to their expectations. So, but there is an upper limit in the price of the Japanese government bonds, whose yield rate is around 0.1% at the most realistically. The government bond dropping down by less than negative 1% will never happen in Japan. So if investors realize there is no big loss if they fail, they want to give a shot at any cost. So if the government keeps uh, keep taking fixed rate purchase operations endlessly with a yield rate about 0.25%, it gives them more chances to do that thing.